five. You get up every morning and your day takes a dive. Boss makes you work late every day. Ten hours straight with no delay. Tonight, tonight, we'll be feeling all right. We're on top of the world and we're taking flight. Open to all, there's no in fight. And we'll be going full speed like a green light. Twenty floors up, up on the rooftop. Is where you get a champagne bottle pop. Cause we're going non-stop until we drop. We hear the cops, but we crank it up another watch. No one can ruin this night with carefree. All we see are city lights and palm trees. On top of the world, we're never coming down. Pour me another glass of the triple crown. Hey you guys, so it's um right now about 6 10 in the morning. Um, we got up about 30 minutes ago. It sucks. I don't get up this early. We have to go stand in line to get our insurance. Um, it sucks. But you know what? You know what? You know what? Every morning when I wake up, the first thing I do, again, I listen to TFB. Right there. Every single morning. And he gets me going. So, um, TFB, again, this is proof. You get me going every single morning. And, um, you know what? I don't know. I think we're going to head out to um, Phoenix um, area for Thanksgiving. And um, we might probably meet up with TFB around there. He's saying he's going to show me the ropes out there. So, you better show me the ropes out there, man. You better show me some real ghetto shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so this is going to be a start of a very, very long day. Once we're done doing this thing with the medical, hopefully we can get in and out. Uh, they don't open until 8, but that's how early you have to get there just to make sure we can get in first and be seen so that way we can get our insurance. Otherwise, they're going to send us home. Um, and I can't afford that because I can't wait another, another six weeks to get medical insurance. Um, so... Yeah, it's gonna. Like I said, it's gonna be a very, very, very long day. And after that, Erin has to go and see if she can get her tooth pulled because her tooth is falling apart in the back, and it's just she had a feeling that came out, and a lot of bad things are happening with her jaw's hurting, and it's it's pretty bad. So I'll bring you guys along for the ride. But for right now, I'm gonna go back to listen to my TFB and try to wake up. So um, this sucks. This really sucks. So um, Leland sleeping right now. Shh. Check it out. Look at this is cute. Too cute. <laughs> Sleep in that grandma's house. All right, it's time to go get Aaron's tooth pulled. Uh, the place I was supposed to go to. Um, the place I was supposed to go to for my insurance. I don't really want to talk about it. So I'm gonna have to go back to Matt tomorrow morning and try to get it again. But um, yeah. I don't know. It's just, it's really pissing me off. I have an appointment on Tuesday or Friday. If I don't get this insurance by Friday, I have to wait six weeks to get my back fixed. And that's not going to happen. I need to get this insurance now. They're going to have to get me in. So anyway, you guys, um, I'll have to get our tooth pulled. I'll see if I can um, film the whole thing. It'll be kind of neat. But um, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Bye. So at least we got one thing done today that we're supposed to get done. She got her tooth pulled. Now she's gonna say I punched her in the fucking face. <laughs> and it's raining. Isn't this sunshine of my fucking day is gonna rain on me now? So I gotta turn off the camera because I can't. I'm not gonna get this wet. Hey, what's up, you guys? Um, so I just got done editing the vlog for today. Um, yesterday's whatever. And um. Okay, Erin, okay, she had her tooth pulled. She is kind of like right now. Um, oh, you guys, TFB. Oh, my God. I can't play it. I, I wish, dude, I want to play this beat for them right now for your song, but I won't because, you know, it's, it's not out yet. But you guys, you guys are going to fucking trip when you guys hear this shit. This shit is the shit, dude. Um, yeah, but, fuck, I, I don't know. I was having a, I was having a very bad day. Today, today for me really, really sucked. It, it's, I, I, you know what, I'll be quite honest, okay? Um, <clears throat> with the economy right now and everything that's going on, we're, we're in a financial bind. Everybody is. Um. And it's it's rough on everybody. It's rough. I mean, 
it's rough on me, it's rough on my wife, it's rough on my kids, and I'm sure everybody out there is going through a similar thing. But if a couple, a man and a woman who are together can work through money problems, work through this bad economy and stay together, they're meant to be together. And, you know, we have arguments just like everybody else, but we, you know, we set, take a step back and say, you know, we're not mad at each other. We're just mad about the situation. So I have to get medical through the city. Um, it's not welfare, but it's, it's, it's through social services. Um, it's through the University Medical Center. Um, it's called UMC. That's where all the college kids, they're trained to be doctors and nurses and whatnot. And that's where they go and intern. And that's the doctors I have to go to, which is fine. I mean, they do the same thing. They have doctors there that's diagnosing me, but the kids are there, you know, the, the, the students are there and they're diagnosing me. And then they go tell the doctor, look at this is what's going on with him. And doctor comes in and he confirms the diagnosis and then I get taken care of. So, I mean, it's just a little bit of a longer process. And, you know, I'm not one to, like, I hate to have to beg for anything. I'm a very proud person. I don't like to ask for help. Um, I, I, I put myself through situations that I shouldn't when there's help available to me, but I don't like to do it because it's not right. Um, to me, it's not right. Um, but if you need it, you need it. And this, unfortunately, I need. And the, they're they're taking their lovely time with my insurance. They're giving. They're supposed to give me three months at a time, and I go back for a reevaluation, and then I get another three months, and then I'm supposed to go back another three months, and then every three months I'm supposed to go back. So it should be what four times a year. They're giving me one month of insurance, make me go back. One month of insurance, make me go back. One month of insurance, make me go back. I don't mind. I'll I'll jump through the holes they want me to jump through, the hoops they want me to jump through, and everything else. But when I call them up and tell them, look it, my insurance ended this date. You gave me a, um, a date for this date and it's an emergency because I have a chronic back disorder and I ha can't go to work and pro provide for my family until I get this taken care of. And they're like, okay, you know what? I understand the situation. Come in uh, this day, be here at um, 5.30. So I get down there at 5.30, I get in there and guess what? Sorry, we can't see you today. Try again tomorrow. Come on, man. I mean, it sucks. It sucks. But I guess, I mean, I don't know. So today, I, I went through that, and that just started off my day bad. I mean, I'm not a morning person to begin with. Um, I can't sleep at night because of my back pain. I'm out of my medication because it, it ended like four days ago, or no, longer than that. Let's say the fifth. So yeah, it ended um, 10 days ago now. Um, so 10 days ago, I ran out of my, my medication and, and they only gave me a month's supply. So I've been 10 days in chronic back pain with this chronic back pain. I mean, I have ibuprofen, but it doesn't work. So I can't, I mean, it, okay, it works, but it's not like a significant amount where I'm comfortable. What? I, I'm still in a lot of pain. I, I, hey, I'm trying to talk to these people here. Okay, okay. Okay, anyway, um, so, you know, I can't sleep at night because I'm in so much pain. And so I'm getting little sleep. I'm, I'm stressing out because of my pain. I'm grumpy and pissy because of my pain. Are you talking to, do you want to talk to everybody? Can you say hi to everybody? Are you going to be quiet now? Talk. Yeah? Talk. I yeah? Is it what else? Oh hey. What are my kisses? Mwah! Thank you, kisses. Give me kisses. No, give me real kisses. Thank you. Where's my hugs? Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Ew, you burped in my face! <laughs> Yucky! <laughs> anyway, where was I? Um So I'm going through all this stuff. And it, the, you know, the financial situation, we're not great, but we're still okay. But, you know, it's still really tight. So when everything's are tight, you kind of, 
when things are tight, I'm sure you guys. I mean, if you guys are going through a financial situation, or if you guys, if you guys are affected by the economy, you guys know when things are tight. Tempers, or you're 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 walking on thin thin water, you know, the thin ice, and things can crack and you freak out. Well, put that with an injury that's not getting any better and it's not getting taken care of because these people just sit behind their chair. And I mean, it wouldn't be, I wouldn't be so upset with this stuff if they were nice about it. But you go in when they tell you to go in, and they're like, no exaggeration, <laughs> no, we can't help them. Send them home. And do exactly that. I'm like, I'm paying you with my hard-earned money. With my taxes, pay you. But I'm supposed to be nice because they can refuse me, can refuse me service when I'm paying them. When my taxes that I break my back for, they can sit on their ass, and that's that's their that's how they're getting paid. That's how they get paid their salary. And I gotta go and beg, beg, beg. I understand. You know. But when you're in need, and certain people, I'm not going to go into this because this is, it's going to cause a lot of shit, but um, when certain people can get it and they shouldn't have it, like this, and people who need it, and show you, and we show them all the proof, look, this is my situation, I, I need help because, you know, I need help with my insurance because I, I can't afford it, and here's the proof, and that's what it's there for, that's what the insurance is there for. And other people you see go in and come out like this, and they have, I see the sheets, and they have more stuff they're supposed to go through and um, check off, like to bring verification, and all they bring is a sheet, and they walk in and walk out with a card, and I sit there for three freaking hours when I have to verify three things. What? I, I, I don't know. And they have the same sheet as I do, and everything is on there, but they highlight everything you're supposed to verify. There's three pages, or three or four pages. I've seen people have everything marked off, and they go in and out like this. I mean, they have everything marked with a highlighter that's supposed to verify it. And I have three things every time I have to verify, and they have the same three things on there, plus, and they're in and out like this. And like I said, I don't want to go there and tell you who these people are, and because that's gonna cause a lot of shit, but they're in and out like this, no questions asked. But someone like me has all the proof right there. Three hours, I'm sitting there talking to the person, and they're questioning me. You have this, you have that. No, I don't. Here's my proof. I have everything right here for you. I have my past bank statements. I have showing they're closed. I mean, they're gonna run my social security card, so I mean my social security number, so they're gonna know what's there. And they pull up my um, social security, the credit report, and they have everything there. Before I even get there, they have everything that's been closed. And I show everything is closed, and everything that's supposed to, that would be open would be on my credit report, and there's nothing there. I mean, I'm giving them everything they need, but still, see, like, I'm ranting now. I'm just rambling and whatnot. But anyway, so that gave me, that just gave me, like, start off my day bad. Now I have to go do this again tomorrow. Um, but I came home. Make the story longer. I came home. I was I was in an upset mood. I mean, I've had like I said, I've had a bad day, and I'm talking to um, TFB, and he's like, dude, like, I'm, I have this, I have a CD that I'm making, um, my album, my first album. Um, you want to see the cover? Me? Yeah, show me the cover. That's cool, cause this, I mean, his music, like I said, touches me. And he's like, look it, here. You want to hear my new beat for my for the main song? Excuse me on the CD. Yeah. He's like, this thing is gonna inspire you. What I'm gonna see, tell you exactly what he said. He's like, dude, this will pump you up and keep you motivated. And I was like, you know, I'm like, I'm telling him, yeah, yeah, I'm sure it will. I listen to it, and I'm telling you right now, when I listen to it, my whole mood totally changed. Totally changed. I literally can close my eyes to this beat, and I can hear him singing, and I can see myself with my girl and my kids sitting on a beach somewhere watching the sun set, why this mute song's playing, and we can, I, and I, 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 I can imagine myself looking at her and saying, you know what, babe, we made it, we made it, and um, the title of the song, I believe, is just gonna be the title. Um, like I said, it's not gonna be, um, giving anything away. It's, it's victory. It's phenomenal, phenomenal. So right now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play one of TFB songs, part of it. I'm gonna stick it right here. All right, can you see it? Can you see me still? All you guys gotta do, can you see me? 
damn things on my face. All you guys gotta do is click on that, listen to his music, and subscribe to him. Um, he's almost at 700 subscribers. Let's get him to a thousand, you guys, so that way he can become partnered. Because this guy, I'm telling you right now, he is going places. It's, I mean, it's insane. 19 years old, and he is killing. He is killing tracks. I mean, you you name a song, doesn't matter what song it is, doesn't matter what kind of genre of music it is. It could, yeah. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? It could be country, it could be rock, it could be rap, it could be, I mean, oldies. He will take any song that you can think of and put a, put a spin on it and make it his own. So what I want you guys to do, click on this annotation. It's still in front of my face. Click on it, subscribe to him, and leave him a challenge. That's his thing. Leave him a challenge. If you guys want to hear an original song, think of a name for a song and he'll make it a song i guarantee it okay you guys i'm rambling i gotta finish this up because this is gonna be hell for me to edit anyway <laughs> um it's good night i love you guys um and here comes tfb's song um coming up here you guys have a good night and um while the song's playing it's gonna be a little thing it says subscribe click that button for me all right love you guys have a good night later Wow. Let the bass drop TFB Plug in the mic, let the beat repeat Oh yeah, TFB is on a winning streak In high school, they called me the geek Teased me, wondering why I didn't speak Cause most of it's gossip, tossed with the drama Talking about sex, drinking and marijuana They smoke a little, talk about what's coming next While I put my life together, connects Basketball and music with my two loves Till God sent me the angel from above Friends faded away, my career built Love grew stronger, smooth as silk Dropped out of college, it's not for me I'm gonna make more without a degree To most it's work and stress today Well I do what I want and you obey Found YouTube, made an account While all the haters told me to dismount I grew my fan base, I thank every one of you And I soon hope that I bring in the revenue Made friends along the way helping me out sj i got you man no doubt two songs a week that's what i said 24 weeks and i still knock them dead intro shaytaz ctfxc burning up the game you can call it spicy i'm not like most that's an understatement i'll get back up if i splat on the pavement bad choices this is right this time i'm gonna stand my ground and fight shoot for the moon i know the height 50th video i'm doing something right